Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Maurice. We're back for episode four of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we hit the lick of a lifetime. We got us a sword and shield that I definitely will not be getting rid of once I get the master sword and the Hylian shield. But anyway, we hit the lick of a lifetime and we also got put on a fetch quest by a literal god to go help other gods. So let's go help these gods, you know? Let's go, bro. And then we're about to get jumped right now. And by the way, get used to seeing these guys all the time because the game loves throwing these enemies at you when you're in the twilight. These are like some of the most common enemies you're going to run into when you're in the twilight. So yeah, I hope you like seeing these guys ugly ass faces because we're going to be seeing them a lot. Ah, oh, we're pinned in again. Pfft. Who do they think they're dealing with? No need to take little pests one at a time, right? You can take them all at once. So, you can handle this by yourself, can't you? Midna, you are totally right. I got this. This is all me. I am totally not going to get one shot. Like, definitely not, Midna. Thank you for having faith in me. You were the only person to have faith in me, Midna. I love you. All right, so, and then he's gonna do that fucking, you know, terrible ass scream he does. And then we're gonna go back to Midna and cry to her that we just got our ass kicked. What's the hold up? If you leave the last one alive, it's just going to use that shriek to bring the others back. Bro was crying for his life right now. Listen, let me help you out here. Just move like I tell you. You just hold down B and I'll expand the energy field. So enclose all the enemies within it and release. Don't tell me what to do, bro. Fuck. I fucked up. No, I didn't. I think I only highlighted two enemies, but when he jumped over to the second enemy, I guess in the middle of him jumping, he also hit the third enemy. So, I mean, fuck it, I'll take it, you know? And then we're about to go meet God real quick. What you want, God? Please be careful. These woods have changed. The dark clouds of dusk cover this land. This drape of shadows is called twilight. In this twilight, those who live in the light become as mere spirits. It's a plain, I mean, it's a place where the dark ones and evil creatures dwell. Sounds fun. I am a spirit of light, blue eyed beast. Look for my light, retrieve the light stolen by the dark beasts and keep it in this vessel. And so we were just introduced to one of the most annoying side quests in any Zelda game. So for these Vessel of Lights, we have to go around hunting bugs that contain light in them. And the only way to see these bugs is to use your senses. And they're hidden all around the map and you got to find all of them to progress. It's not as bad as people say. I've heard a lot of people like when they make videos, I mean, uh, what? When, I can't talk. When they make video reviews about this game, one common complaint is that they don't like the whole, you know, dark insect hunting, which it's not that bad. It's bad, but like, it's not as bad as people might say, you know, like it doesn't really take that long. Like I'll, pro like, I'll probably finish this within like 10 minutes max, right? It's just really annoying to do because, because you have to do this like three times throughout the game so it's like I don't know like if it was just one time it'd be fine but they make you do it three times and it's annoying but not as annoying as people might say like I said so and once you kill them you don't have to use your senses anymore because their orbs of light can be seen without using your senses so Oh shit, I think I messed up. There was one over there. 
tight, it's tight. There's gonna be one up on this fucking wall right here because he's a little bitch and he doesn't want to fight. Can't blame him though. If I was gonna fight Link, I would be hiding too. But yeah, we're gonna take his light. Your soul is mine. Hmm. Looks like we can get in there. Nah, really? Nah, man. Nah, I'm just looking at this open window for no reason, you know. Cause like, I look, cause like I just love looking at open windows, you know. Fun. All right, where's the stick? I know. Oh wait, I'm not. I forgot you have to press X. What? Well, what's with these bugs? Those things aren't normal. They're so big, so weird, so creepy. Come on, get away, bugs. Shoo, get out of here. Bro, why are you being a little bitch, bro? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. If I saw bugs that big, I'd be scared too. Like, bro, these <laughs> bro, these bugs are literally like the size of people's feet. It's crazy. These bugs have to be at least like six inches, bro. Fuck that. Alright, so... We got what we came for. You know why I'm here. So let's progress. I like how Minna just has to jump on his back. Like she can't just like, you know, not be on his back. She can't just like, you know, be in the shadows. She has to be on bro's back the whole time. So now we're going into this scary ass cave. I'm scared, bro. Don't hurt me. No, bro, wait. Okay. And then we're gonna get to the spa. We arrived at Palm Springs. place looks a bit different than it was before can't really notice too much of a difference but it's just a tad different you know just a tad dude bro ain't no fucking way there is no fucking way he did that right now <laughs> alright bro Thank you. I was gonna say, like, what the fuck happened? The orb was just fucking, st fucking staying there. Hey, think we can get across over there? No. We're just gonna sit here and look at each other all day, Midna. We're not gonna progress. We're just gonna sit here and compliment each other's hair. See, dude, we're almost done. We just got four more, and those four will go by really quickly. So, yeah, like I said, I don't really get why a lot of people don't like these sections. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, it's not that I like these sections, but I don't think they're as bad as people might say, right? Like, they're not as long, they're not as annoying. Like, don't get me wrong, they are annoying, but, you know, I've heard people say that that you know like these are like the worst parts of the game which i don't know about that you know but these are like i will say that these do kind of what's the word they um slow down the game a little bit right like, i will say that but they don't make the game worse in my opinion because honestly every game has something that makes it that honestly dude i'm high i just woke up i'm too tired all right like I'm just going to move on. We're going to go into the forest. We're going to go capture these bugs. We're going to go capture these bugs first because these motherfuckers are some pests. You know? Like I said, get used to seeing them all the time. Alright, get
get one-shotted. Get absolutely one-shotted. Okay. At the home stretch. And then after this, we can finally turn back into a human after being a wolf for like the past three fucking episodes, you know? So, don't worry, things after this will get good, I promise. They're shooketh. Someone, someone helped me? It was Casper the Friendly Ghost. Boy, lucky for me. Ever since the boss went funny in the head, there have been scary monsters everywhere. Those village kids got led through the woods for some reason. The whole forest is so weird now. What's happened? Life happened, you know? That's done now. The Vessel of Light has returned. Ah, uh, but it was so nice here in the twilight. What's so great about a world of light anyway? Yeah, I, right, buddy. Just, just, yeah, please get the fuck out of here, man. Nobody loves you. Go home, you're drunk. And now we're gonna see another Pokemon. Except th this one evolved. This is a, this is an evolved Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty cool though. Like, all jokes aside, that's pretty cool. My name is Pharon. I am one of the spirits of light who dwell in Hyrule. By the order of the gods, I protect this forest. Brave youth. In the land covered in twilight where people roam as spirits, you were transformed into a blue-eyed beast. That was a sign it was a sign that the powers of the Chosen One rest within you, and that they are awakening. Look at your awakened form. I was looking clean. The green tunic that is your garb once belonged to the ancient hero belong or chosen by the gods. His power is yours. His is the true power that slept within you. Your name is Maurice. You are the hero chosen by the gods. Bro, I was like, I don't know what the fuck that means, but hey, that brave Maurice. A dark power rests in the temple deep within these woods. That's not my fucking problem. It is a forbidden power. Long, long ago, I and the other spirits of light locked it away. Because of its nature, it's a power that should never be touched by any who dwell in the light. But this world weeps beneath a mantle of shadows. And so there is no choice. You must match the power of the king of shadows. Nah, bro, you do it. The fuck? If you would seek this forbidden power, then proceed to the temple in the forest depths. Nah, I think I'm gonna go to Lake Hylia. I'm gonna just go swim for a while. Damn. Damn, son. Well, well, you're the chosen hero and all that, huh? So that's why you turned into a beast. 
What a shame. I mean, maybe you just rather... Wait. Um, I mean, maybe you, you'd rather just wander as a spirit like the rest of them. Totally unaware of what was happening for all eternity, right? E he he. So what do you want to do? Do you want to head to that temple? Well, isn't that convenient? I was just about to head there myself. Stop capping. Stop capping. Hey, look. You want to help your friends, right? The way I see it, maybe they're in that temple waiting for you to rescue them. Well, good luck, Mr. Important Hero. E he he. See you later. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch. All right. Anyway. We will go do the forest temple in the next video. If you guys liked this video, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. I want to reach 50 subscribers by the end of June. So please help me reach that goal. And I hope to see you guys later on down the line. Watch out for part four. Watch out for any other videos I might upload in the future. I will see you guys later. Peace.